Alright, welcome back YouTube. I want to show you my first readings I got off of my new product. Let me show you this right here. Picked it up from eBay. It's Chinese, but it's great. It was $69 ship. Got here, I think definitely took less than two weeks. Comes with two probes software to run it it's great it's a frequency analyzer a spectrum analyzer does everything the average hobbyist would need it to do uh, and I believe it had a 10 megahertz frequency uh, or 20 megahertz frequency uh, resolution which is great so here we go let me show you how, how I'm doing this USB the box breaking out to the wire lead to the end of the bowl um, Every time I would I would love to get a, a reading off of my L1 to see how fast it's pulsing. And when I first got this thing a couple weeks ago, I really haven't had the chance to to try try it again because every time I loaded it up and turn on the Tesla coil, I would get a reading. But as soon as I would touch the laptop, everything would freeze, it would crash, and I was freaking out because I didn't want to break the laptop so my solution here now is this wireless mouse so basically now I if I were to touch this laptop right now it, it would freak out the touch the touchpad would freak out and I would have to restart the computer reboot everything and start the whole process over the screen would freeze so this keeps me from having to touch that because right now as you can see we have and this is picking up wirelessly from the bulb. It's saying there's four volts at 516 kilohertz going through this tube right here. Now the very first readings that I got off of this this system uh, were with the smaller coil, and I did manage to get a quick reading off of the L1, and I it did say. 1 point something megahertz uh, before I touched it and started freaking out so as you can see let me get a shot of the software if I can get a good zoom up oh, there we go I think you guys can see that does everything you need it to do and here's this is the best feature right here the auto set button um, it really beats having to mess with controls uh, you basically plug it up to the source hit the auto set and bam you get the beautiful waveform divisions so but the unfortunate thing is I, I guess because it's such a high frequency that if I move this closer any closer to the coil as you can see um, it goes over range I guess because the frequency is too high I don't know but it won't register over four, 4 or 5 volts peak to peak I mean not peak to peak uh, plus or minus see it just gives me asterisks but you know for I, I really don't know why it does this because you can probably assume where the peak would be you know just by looking at the graph as it levels off so let me let me get this guy a little closer I'm watching the waveform get bigger. I'm going to get this guy right up to the top here. So it's getting a really good signal from the toy. Alright. Alright. Wow, now it's looking all square. But that's not the case. That would end up being a sign. So that's the 4 volt line. Right there. That's the 4 volt line. Hmm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So you're looking at at least double. So maybe at least 8 volts at 510 kilohertz. I don't know. Let me figure out this software some more. I know it works. I know it's, it's calibrated. I stick it into the wall, read out 60 hertz, 110 volts, exactly what it's supposed to. 
So I, I have pretty good faith in the software. So I just wanted to give you guys the first readings as I was getting them. Um, so let me investigate this some more. See if I can actually get this to spit out the exact numbers for me. All right, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe, and I'll come back to you.